Welcome back to a new episode where we will be creating a pretty cool zoom in effect whenever we hover over an image. The output will be something like this, so whenever we hover over the image, the output will be a smooth transition zoom in. For the people that did not watch the previous episodes, we basically created a grid layout system inside our portfolio.html with an image inside of it. So what we need to do to create the zoom in effect is to create a new div called hover box dash zoom, hit tab, hit enter. We want all our images to be clickable. So we need to create an anchor and inside the anchor, we need to create an image. Let's hit tab again. And of course our image needs to have a source. So let's go back to the browser. Let's open a new tab and let's go to pixabay.com. And you can choose whatever image you want. I will choose this one. Whenever you click on the image, you need to right click and you need to open the image in a new tab. So let's click on it, copy the URL and paste it right inside of the source. Let's save our portfolio.html because we're done right now. So let's go to the style sheet and let's start creating our styling. The first thing that I want to do is to create a comment called zoom in effect. And the first styling that I want to apply is punctuation, hover box, dash, zoom, space, curly braces. This will be the whole entire div. So let me go to the browser. Let's refresh it. Let me save it first. This will be the whole entire div. We don't want to apply any styling to the white space. Right now, the image has a width of 100%. But imagine if it was 50%, there will be white space around the image. So we don't want to apply any zoom in effect on the diff, but on the image itself. But what we want to do with the diff is to set the position equal to relative. We want to set the margin equal to auto, and we want the overflow to be hidden. What we need to do right now is to style the image. So let's write down punctuation mark hover box dash zoom space IMG. In order to create the zoom in effect, we need to add a transition because we want the zoom in effect to be smooth and a transition allows elements to change the values over a specified duration. And what we want is to change it all space followed by the time. So let's say two seconds. Let me add a space right in front of all. We also need to apply the transform and this allows you to visually manipulate an element by skewing, rotating, translating, or scaling. And what we need to do is to scale it. So let's write down scale, followed by a set of parentheses. And inside the parentheses, we need to write down the amount of times we want to scale it from the original size, because right now we're not applying it on the hover. So the default is one. So let me add it, save it, and refresh the browser you can see that the default image is printed out. But if we go back and set it equal to two and save it and refresh the browser, you can see that the image will be zoomed in by default and that's not what we want. So let's set it back to one. The last thing that we need to do is to apply a styling to a specific scale whenever we hover over the image. So what we could do is to copy the hover box zoom image, paste it right below of it, and after the zoom, let's write down colon hover. We don't need the transition, but we actually do need the transform. So our transform starts at one, but we want to zoom it in until 1.9. So let's save it. Let's refresh the browser. And whenever I hover over the image, you can see a pretty cool effect has been added to our image. And if you think that the zoom is a little bit too much, you can just adjust it by changing the scale on the hover to, well, 1.3, save it, refresh it, and let's hover over it one more time. And you can see that the zoom in effect is not very extreme. This was it for this episode. And in the next episode, I want to create a grayscale effect whenever we hover on an image. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.